closing in on first pitch in our nation's capital. It's the Marlins and the Nationals. Next on the show. Just a few blocks away from the Capitol Dome here in Washington, D.C., as MLB The Show is on hand to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, game one of this three-game series is set to get underway, as it'll be the Miami Marlins taking on the Washington Nationals. And a welcome inside the broadcast booth, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to take you through this one. We'll hear from my colleagues Dave Campbell and Eric Karros momentarily. But first, let's hop right into our starting lineup. It's presented by State Farm. Get to a better state, State Farm. And look there at the starting pitcher charged with facing these guys as his numbers are on your screen. And defensively, here's how Washington will take the field behind him. Jose Reyes will stride forward, currently sitting in sixth place in the race for the National League hitting crown. Underway in our nation's capital as the first pitch is looked at for ball one. First pitch, 707. Ball, and back to back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2 0 oh now. Hmm, I don't know. It looked to me like he might have gone around. And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. And he is out at first as Reyes couldn't quite beat out the bunt that time. Not a bad try here. Just needed to get something going, but it didn't quite pan out. Emilio Bonifacio will stride in now. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's ball game. First pitch to him. And that misses for ball one. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. He's got to get the bat off his shoulders on pitches right there. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. And that's how he likes to get ahead of guys. Two fastballs to start the at bat, and then he pulls the string to make it one and two. Take something off there as this is skied out to fairly deep center field. And Cameron will track this one down easily for out number two. And there you see the numbers from his last time out. Picked up his first win of the season in that ball game. So he'll be looking for number two here. Hanley Ramirez will step forward now. Currently third in the National League batting race to begin play. Oh, 
pulls the string on that one. One strike. And he's probably not going to throw too many first pitch changeups. That's a pretty darn good call. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. And this is going to be important against a team like this. You can't let them get into too many hitters' counts because they'll tear you apart. We're just getting started here in our nation's capital. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but this will wind up foul. Still 0 and 2. Now a swing and another ball that I believe will find its way into the seats. Still 0-2. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way onto fairly deep right. There to play it is worth, and he makes the play to retire the side. Good half inning of work there from Tom Gorzolani. Now it'll be Washington's turn in a scoreless ball game. And the starting lineup for the Nationals is on your screen. And again, it's brought to us by State Farm. They'll go to work against a guy who punched out 16 batters in one of his 2009 starts, the hard-throwing right-hander Ricky Nolasco. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Ian Desmond will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. Here it comes. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. Taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Well, this won't be a four-hour game with a strike zone like that. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Well, that's an opportunity wasted on the mound there. Oh, a hitter's got to be defensive on two and two, but that was so far outside, he didn't even have to worry about chasing. And the splitter is over for a cold third strike as he's left shaking his head, one gone. Well, let's check the grip on that last split-fingered pitch. You can see how wide his fingers get across the top of the baseball, and that's what gives it the backspin needed to be effective. Jason Wirth will stand in, and you see the average there, up over 300 to start the new season. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Now the pitch. 
Grounded foul. Nope, that's foul. It swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And that's in there. Base hit. No. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. First hit of the ball game for either side. A one out double here in the bottom of the first. And now that'll give the heart of their lineup a great RBI opportunity in the first inning. Ryan Zimmerman will stride in now. Two hits for him, including a home run in last night's contest. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. Oh, look at Ramirez. And the throw gets him at first as Hanley Ramirez just took away a certain base hit. Michael Morse will stand in now. Certainly a dangerous hitter as he ranks number two in the National League in home run. And a called strike on the corner. He didn't like that call. I don't blame him. Might have had a gripe there. That looked to be off the corner. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. He's ready now, the pitch. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Foul back. Ball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So nothing in the Washington half of the first. We're through an inning at Nationals Park, still scoreless. Gabby Sanchez will dig in now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Here's the first offering. First That's offering to him ball. stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Two and one. Sanchez awaits the two one. And this pitch is taken outside, I suppose. Hmm, three and one.
On good opposite field power here as this fastball is taken high and deep to right. A leap and he crashes into the wall but managed to hold on to it. Let's get another look at this on our State Farm show motion cam. You'll see him tracking this and now freeze it. That is concentration because he knows that once we roll this video, he's going to take a jolt. And I'll tell you what, that cannot have felt good. Logan Morrison will dig in now. Off to a slow start, as you see there. Just barely over the 200 mark here in April. Outside with the fastball that's 1-0. No score here as we play inning number two. Now it's 2-0. Two and oh. Now Morrison swings and sends this one on the ground to second base. On to first, and Gorzolani's really settling in here. Two away. Mike Stanton will stand in, hoping to get things turned around here in April as he enters play with an average down in the 220s. Now here's a swing and a little dribbler in fair territory out in front of home plate. Throw on to LaRoche is going to be in time, and the inning is over. Miami down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Adam LaRoche stand in, hoping to turn things around from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. Fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. The next pitch. Ball, and he won't right. bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Outside with that delivery, and it's 3-0 and now. And one thing you don't want to do to start an inning is walk the leadoff guy on four straight. That one's in there, 3-1. and one. And if he could have made that pitch on 0-0 instead of 3-0, and this would be a different story. Lied hard to center field. Bonifacio patrolling center makes the play one out. Looked like a sure single leading off the inning. He certainly hit it hard enough, but it hangs up there a bit too long and winds up getting run down. Wilson Ramos will come forward now, back in the lineup after being used as a pinch hitter last night. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Now a ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd. Bottom of the second here with no score.
And this is fouled straight back. Lays off two and two now. Ooh, a tough take there on one and two, especially after fighting off so many pitches prior to that one. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle, taken by Infante. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Well, he set down the first two guys to face him here in the inning, but they haven't made it easy. It's taken 11 pitches here, but he'll probably take it. Mike Cameron will get his first shot here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Now the first pitch. First pitch finds the zone. No balls and a strike to the now 39-year-old veteran. Yeah, he starts him out with a nice breaking ball there. That's all about putting a guy back on his heels to begin the at-bat. Slider taken here. One ball, one strike. One and two now. And there was a good breaking ball. Might have caught him off guard a bit that time. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. We'll move to the third with no score. Omar Infante is ready to go here as we begin the third. Here's the pitch. And there's a fastball from Gorzolani. Good for strike one. And this is fouled back and out of play. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Ready with another 0-2. And yet another foul ball here as this finds the seats and the count will remain at 0-2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Well, he battled him about as long as he could out there. It's tough when you're forced to protect pitch after pitch after pitch. And in the end, a good fastball here finally wears him down. Brett Hayes will dig in now, and he, like many others, was held hitless in the shutout yesterday afternoon. Fastball in there for a called strike. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Marlins are still on the lookout for their first hit of the ball game. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. First time through the lineup, it's clear to see he's using his fastball early in the count to set up his other pitches, and that sequence paid off to perfection right there. Ricky Nolasco will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning.
First pitch is a slider called for a strike. And he's still looking for his first hit of the year, so hitting does not seem to be his strong suit. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. And we are tied nothing nothing. Danny Espinoza will stand in, and he is off to a dreadful start at the plate as he has not hit the ball well in April. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and The 1-0 pitch. And that's just off the corner and low, ball two. pitch and that one's over for a strike yeah and two and oh even if he had a green light that's one he should go ahead and let go by that was in a tough spot Come on, Nets. here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball two and two And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Well, if he went down to go after that last pitch, why not throw the same pitch in the same spot? A bit more prudent this time, though. Fastball, and he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. And a perfect start to the inning right here. You'll see this one gets driven for two bases, and now with the pitcher on deck, they can elect to try to bunt him over to third with one away. Tom Gorzolani will step in, and with nobody out, we'll see if they want to let him swing the batter, try to bunt that runner on to third. Try and get his man to third here as he puts this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. And that is fundamentally as good as it gets. You see him get the bat head out, just like you're always taught. And on just one pitch, your pitcher does the job so he can get back into that dugout and rest up a bit. Ian Desmond will stand in as the lineup turns over here. He was called out on strikes to open the home first. Fastball called for strike one. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. And if you're looking for a pitch up to hit a fly ball here, I don't think you're going to get one. Now the one and one pitch. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. Throw on to Sanchez is in time, two away. 
Very important to get that first run of the ball game, and that's an especially good sign when you're able to team up and manufacture it like they did right there. Jason Wirth will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. One zero pitch now. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. And this is all about handling a guy like this with kid gloves. You know, walk him if you have to, but don't let him be the one to beat you. Ball three. And they're getting toward that dangerous part of the lineup here, so he definitely doesn't want to walk him. Misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four pitch walk here. Well, it doesn't take a genius to see here. They were not going to give him anything near the zone to hit in this at bat. You see the sequence on show track, and this turns out to be just about the equivalent of an intentional walk. Ryan Zimmerman will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Off the plate and low here, ball one. Oh, and a good job there of anticipating that pitch in the dirt. Two and oh now. Well, until he proves that he can get that breaking ball over the plate, I, I think you sit on something else. Here's a fastball that swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. But he'll get there as he flags it down just shy of the wall. And with that, the side is retired. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Three innings complete. The Nationals are out in front here, one to nothing. Back with Eric Karros and Dave Campbell, Matt Vaskersian as the reigning NL batting champ and new signee Jose Reyes will settle in to lead things off for Miami. First pitch coming. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Now we'll try to beat one out here, but this will be just foul. And that's going to be strike three called. His fourth consecutive strikeout, and he's in the zone now. One away. Well, it's only April, but he's looking like he's in mid-season form out there right now. His location has been spot on so far. Emilio Bonifacio will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Yeah. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. And right now, boy, you're looking for any kind of base runner. Something to get this guy out of the groove he's been in. And, oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one.
One out, nobody on. 1-1 one, one on the way. In for strike two. And when a guy like this lets two go in a row, you know he's looking for something else. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. Man. And not only has he not allowed a hit to this point, but he's also faced the minimum so far. You can't do much better than that. Hanley Ramirez will stand in here hoping to pick up his club's first hit in the contest. Here's a slider that's inside, 1-0. Swinging a hard hit ball back up the middle. And the Marlins are into the hit column. There's their first base hit. Boy, it certainly took them a while, but they're finally into the hit column tonight here with two outs in the fourth. Now the question becomes, can they do anything with it? Gabby Sanchez will try it again. He flew out his first time. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Curveball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. And with a speed threat at first, normally you'd see a lot of fastballs. They're lucky he wasn't running there on that curveball down. Full count, three and two. And one benefit of this extra patience is the runner at first will get a head start on three and two. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Marlins leave one. They still trail one nothing. Friday night baseball here on the show as we check out the East Coast scores knowing there's more action to come later tonight out on the West Coast. Michael Morse will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. And here's the first pitch. Ball one. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and one. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. Well, you said it. He's got to get a lot into this throw, and he's got the arm strength to get it over there in time. Adam LaRoche will stand in. 
A line-out victim his first time. Here's the first offering. And here's another first pitch strike. And he's just running roughshod right through this lineup. Well, they just have not put up much of a fight. I totally agree. He's had his way out there from the word go. Swing and a miss as LaRoche finds himself in a quick 0-2 hole here. And one thing you can say about him on the mound, he certainly has been the aggressor in this at bat, coming right after him. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, one and two. And a quick check of the pitch count here. That's 53 now through only three and a third. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Well, I'd be surprised if they go back to the curve again on two and two. He's had a couple of pretty good looks at it at the plate. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Well, after getting ahead here, 0-2, you know, he nibbles for a couple pitches and then finally just says, all right, I'm through with this. So he goes back to the fastball, just blows it right by him. Wilson Ramos will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Starts him out with the slider for a strike. Boy, tough pitch right out of the chute and this at bat. And now a pitch on the way. A little bit low that time, maybe outside as well. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. One run, two hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. And that's a good time to throw that spinner. Make him fish for something. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Two two pitch pulled on the ground down to third. There to take it is Ramirez. And the throw to first just about takes him out as it skips up and over him. Ah, and this is a case where you really got to know who your runner is out there. I mean, that's not exactly Ichiro busting down that line. He's got plenty of time to make this play, but he fires wildly, and they're going to hit him with an air. Mike Cameron will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. Now, he knows he should be out of the inning already, but you know, he's got to pick up his defender behind him and get out of this. And this pitch is up and in as he backs away. It's ball one. Mm, he did not like that one bit. Now, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. <laughs> oh, 
swing and a high chopper to third. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. We'll see Logan Morrison start things off when we come back. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. And there is Logan Morrison. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Curveball just misses, apparently, 1-0. Another really close pitch there. He's been around the strike zone quite a bit. You know, sometimes that can be good. Other times, though, it can make you a little too predictable out there. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. One one pitch on the way. And he lays off a pitch down and away. Ball two. Setting up down and away that time. That's not a bad spot to miss. In there, two and two. And he's really found that change up here in the middle innings. Here's the two and two offering. Ball three. Three and two now. Let's get you out here. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, when you're holding on to a one-run lead, you don't want to start walking, guys. Especially not the leadoff hitter. He'll kick himself over that one, but he's going to have to put it behind him quick. Mike Stanton will stand in. He grounded out his first time. A look at Morrison, now the pitch. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Keep that run up low. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Got to credit their patience here in this inning. They're just letting him work himself into trouble. A runner at first with no outs here. And there's the first strike, two and one. Just trying to find something that works here. Off speed pitch, good for strike two. Now here's the ball hit sharply toward the right side. Well, this is speared by the first baseman. And for a first baseman, if the most direct route is to just tag the guy, that's what you do. You know, there's no sense in trying to throw it to your pitcher or your second baseman covering, especially if you don't have to. Omar Infante will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Now the first pitch. Let's go next. Now a first pitch changeup here. Too far inside, it's 1-0. and oh. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, and it's two and one now. Oh. 
Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. Throw on to LaRoche takes care of him, and with that, the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Marlins. They trail this one one to nothing. Danny Espinoza will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch coming. And he'll start him with a high strike here on the fastball on the outside corner. It's 0-1. Boy, in a perfect spot for the splitter there. It's 0-2. Swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. Tom Gorzolani will dig in. No official at bat yet as he delivered a sacrifice bunt in his first appearance. Good zip to the fastball there by Nolasco, and it's nothing in one. And that four-seamer had some burst at the end. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. And this is going back to the pattern he's been using here lately. Set him up inside and then get him out with pitches away. Now the one and one pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. Yeah, he's able to set down his opposite number there, and I'll tell you, these two guys have pretty much matched each other pitch for pitch so far. Ian Desmond will dig in for the third time now. He's struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. And a ball, 1-0. Here's the 1-0. Grounded fouled yeah. off to the right side. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to 2-1 and one now. And he's fallen behind now, three and one. The three one. Let's go, next. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. From deep in the hole. Oh, Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. Ball hit deep in the hole that time. Look at the effort just to get rid of that thing. I mean, he's totally airborne as he lets it go, but no chance to get enough strength on the throw. So that'll be an infield single. Jason Worth will stand in. Base on balls his last time.
First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Up top, it's 2-0. and and You can tell he's starting to get a little jumpy out there. He's got to take his time and really focus in on the glove. Go, Dad. Splitter is right there, so he climbs back to 2-1. and one. And he misses again, ball three. Let's go Nats. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We're through five here at the ballpark. Nationals on top, one to nothing. Brett Hayes will stand in to lead things off as the Marlins look to get things started here in their half of the sixth. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. One oh on the way. Hit hard, but foul. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right hander begins to get loose. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. A two one offering. Bold strike two as he locks him up there. Swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Starts this inning off the way he started most of the others. You see the line there. No runs allowed and just one hit allowed as well. He is really locked in. Ricky Nolasco will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. First pitch coming. Now here's a fastball at the knees, and that location has paid off for him so far. It's 0-1. Well, you're absolutely right. I mean, in general, the more you can work in that lower half of the zone, the more success you're going to have. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. And that's a good spot for that fastball on 0 and 2. I mean, that couldn't have been an easy take. Yeah. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Right, both starters are really feeling it now. Sometimes you get a sense that they're competing directly with one another. And this has turned into a showcase of whatever you can do, I can do better. Jose Reyes will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Now here's the first pitch. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. And trouble aboard now is that's a base hit for Reyes. 
Well, two out single right there, and that constitutes a rally the way this one's gone. Let's see if they can do anything with it. Emilio Bonifacio will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Ah, got him fishing that time, 0-1. No runs, two hits, and one error so far for the Marlins. Sure enough, there goes Reyes. Pitch inside the throw, and it's not in time, so Reyes has himself a stolen base. And when you're still searching for your first extra base hit of the game, this will work as a nice substitute as he's into second with a single and a stolen base. Two and one. And you sort of get the sense that if you're going to score against this guy, this is where you're going to need to do it because he's not showing a whole lot of vulnerability so far. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. Now a big pitch here. He's got a base to play with, but he's got the heart of the order to follow. Hanley Ramirez would be next. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. Worth is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Ryan Zimmerman will get the first shot here when we come back. They lead it one to nothing. And there is Ryan Zimmerman. He'll have the opportunity to kick things off as we begin the home sixth. Up and in there with the first pitch fastball, it's ball one. And now as a pitcher, you just got to go out there and do what you can. Then wait for your ball club to get you some runs. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. And he's got a tough task here going through the 3, 4, and 5. So you hate to fall behind the first guy. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Leadoff man on here to kick off the inning. They've been held to just that one single run back in the third, so they're going to need to pick things up here. Michael Morris will step in now. 0 for 2 to this point. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. sent out to straightaway center field. Bonifacio will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So a runner at first now with one away and stepping in as the first baseman Adam LaRoche. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Foul. 
Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Swing, and he popped him up. Over in foul territory, back behind third. Ramirez is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. Good pitch there as he threw the fastball to get the pop up and you see there what his pitch breakdown has been so far. Wilson Ramos will dig in now hitless in his two at bats so far. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. and And that thing looked like it was still rising at the end. Two out with the man at first. The 1-0 pitch. Curveball down and in, misses, ball two. Now he's going to get a visit from his catcher just to make sure he's all right. But uh, this might actually be more of a stall tactic here. I mean, his pitch count, it's starting to get up there. So this might just be to buy a little time for that bullpen. started to go around there and it'll cost him as they say he did swing the bat it's two and one there's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field and this one is gone a home run so a two-run shot to left center as the Nats move out in front now, three to nothing. And looking back on the entire start, this one rates as one of the few times tonight he's missed his spot. You can take a look at it on show track, and boy, does he miss. That's one of those where you know it's trouble right when it leaves your hand. Now Ozzie Guillen's going to take the trip to the mound, and that's going to do it now for Ricky Nolasco. He'll depart after five and two-thirds as it'll be up to the bullpen to keep his guys in the ballgame. Mike Dunn is on and he'll take over on the mound. Number 40, Michael Dunn. Mike Cameron will stand in 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Ball 1. Boy, tough call to get on your first pitch of the ball game. He's thinking that was a strike in the bullpen. Two and oh now. And he's digging himself a hole right here. It's hard to get veteran hitters to chase stuff like that. Too high as he misses again here, and it's 3-0 now. 
Maddie's come right out of the pen throwing nothing but balls. He better settle down quickly. Danny Espinoza would be next. Now the pitch. Fouled back. Three and two. From 3-0 and to 3-2 and now, can he make it all the way back? Now a bullet fouled as the third base coach had to give her the old Ole that time. Payoff pitch one more time. Now a check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. Nats pick up a pair in the inning on this two-run home run. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up to start the seventh. It's 3-0 Washington. Back here at Nationals Park. Nationals on top in this one as we get ready for the seventh. But first, let's check out the game summary to see how we got here. Hanley Ramirez will stand in here to start the seventh in a game that's been sailing along to this point. There's a first pitch curveball trying to come back to the outside corner. Didn't get it that time. It's ball one. And with the three, four, and five guys due up, it would seem to be now or never time. They've got to get something going. Here's yeah. a changeup that's right there, one and one. Here's a guy that understands. It's all about getting on base at this point. So good idea there just to wait for strike one. Outside, two and one. And he's not going to swing at borderline pitches. He knows what his assignment is. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. And LaRoche will just take this to the bag himself for the out. And you could bet he'd love to get through the middle of this order one more time tonight without getting burned. He's got the first out right there. Gabby Sanchez will step in now. 0 for 2 to this point. Here we go. Here's the first pitch to him. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. And they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Here's the 1-1. One -one. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Curveball, and he thought it was strike two. Instead, it goes to three and one. And these last few pitches have all been down, which is not a bad idea against a guy like this. Logan Morrison is on deck. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. Cameron is back to the warning track, though, as he gloves it for the second out. Making a bid to finally put a tally in that run column, but he comes up just a little short as this ball dies out there on the warning track. 
Logan Morrison will stand in, base on balls his last time. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And the MLB average is right around 58% for first pitch strikes. He's got to be way over that. Two out, nobody on. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And a that tough slider down. there as he grounds it foul. Yeah. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They trail in this one, three nothing. for another look at the scoreboard tonight as this time we check the action in the American League. Danny Espinoza will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Eight, nine, and one to start the inning as the first pitch misses for ball one. That's right. Wait for your pitch. And he takes a cold strike one. One one on the way. Down low, two balls and a strike. Now a swing and a ground ball. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Weakly to the right side, so he stays alive. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. On the ground for the shortstop, Reyes. And a good throw gets him one gun. And now on the mound, he's just got to try and keep his team in the game and hope sooner or later they can generate some offense. Mark DeRosa is into the on-deck circle now as he'll hit in place of the pitcher, Gorzolani. Ball hit on the first pitch out to the shortstop, Reyes. Throw on to Sanchez is in time, two away. That won't help the hit streak. We'll have to see if he gets another opportunity. Ian Desmond will get another crack, one for three thus far. Fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. The 
And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Fastball popped high in the air over toward the right side of the infield. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. The dangerous Mike Stanton will get the first shot when we return. Still down 3-0. Henry Rodriguez will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. There now is Mike Stanton. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. First pitch is a fastball inside, 1-0. And here in the eighth, at least you're given the luxury of facing this guy with nobody on. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Yeah, I bet he was hoping to get another one of those fastballs, but this one just breaks really sharply at the end. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Now a fastball, and he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And the eighth inning begins with a flyout, quickly one away. And I'll tell you what, anytime you hand the ball over to a guy that has an ERA of zero point something, you've got to feel pretty good about your chances of him getting you out of the inning. Omar Infante will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. This one will be fouled back in among the fans. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. And that'll get on through into center. And he's got himself a one-out hit. The hits have certainly been few and far between so far. Just their third hit of the ball game. And... We're in any number eight. From an offensive standpoint, you know, that's just not going to get it done. Brent Hayes will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes.
Now the 1-0 pitch. And this catches the outside corner, strike one. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Comes set, now the pitch. And that misses and we're even at two and two. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Boy, and when you're trailing in the eighth inning, I think you need to let that one hit you. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strike out of the game. With that, we'll give you a look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers in the game. And the column to look at is the one on the right side of your screen. Not too many hits to go around at this point in the ballgame. Chris Coglin will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Pitch missed somewhere. It's a ball and no strikes. Yeah, and coming right off of that strikeout, he's got to be thinking he should be ahead of this next guy. That's a tough way to fall behind. Here's the 1-0. This one's a strike. It's 1-1. One and one. just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Strike three calls, so the pinch hitter will head right back to where he came from. One left for Miami. They trail it here, three to nothing. Bottom of the eighth inning upcoming, but before we begin it, let's take a look back at how the Nationals got themselves to a better state. And it came right here on this, the first run of the ball game. Get to a better state, State Farm. One Oviedo will come in and pitch now. Number 26. One Oviedo. Jason Worth will step in to start things for the Nationals. He'll be followed by Ryan Zimmerman waiting on deck. Fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And now with a new pitcher in there and two, three, four due up, this leadoff man becomes a very important guy to get through. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. 
The next pitch. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 and now. Having a hard time finding the strike zone here to start the eighth. Good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. and oh. Well, one thing you don't want to do is come in and go 3-0 and oh to the first guy you face leading off an inning. It's a long road back after that. Hey. And a good comeback there. It's 3-1. and one. The three and one pitch. Gets him to swing and miss there. Three and two. And they obviously want to work him away as that's three straight on the outside part of the plate. Got him. And you saw the numbers when he came in. He's yet to give up an earned run this year, so you can't ask for a whole lot more than that. Ryan Zimmerman will dig in. He singled and later scored his last time. First pitch on the way. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Huh. Safe to say guys don't care much for that location. That'll get you riled up the plate, no doubt. Now a swing and a fly ball, not hit all that well out towards Stanton and right. And he can't track it down, a base hit. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. Very good approach at the plate that time, and a good job of hitting the ball where it was pitched. He cruises into second with double number seven on the year. Michael Morse. Will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. First offering on the way. And the first pitch is taken for strike one. Are you guys surprised to see this in the strike zone? I am. Personally, I'd walk him, but it appears they're not going to go that route. One out and a runner on second base. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. One one pitch on the way. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Yeah, this pitch is in the dirt, but it's not always easy to tell whether you should try to advance or not. But I think the catcher loses sight of this thing for a moment, and as soon as he reads that at second base, he's off for third. Swing and a hot shot toward third. And this will get by him at third, down the line. It's a fair ball. make it a full run lead right now and that would be awfully tough to overcome this late in the ball game. Edward Mojica will get the call now as he'll try to get the final two outs here and get this one on to the ninth inning. Adam LaRoche will go back now. He popped out in foul ground last time. Inside with the first pitch splitter, and it's 1-0. and He 
in there, and it's even at one. Runner at first here, one man out. Now he spins on a fastball here and drives one to deep right field. And that is over the wall, home run. A two-run home run for Adam LaRoche. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Uh, you know, sometimes it can be all or nothing with this guy. He'll strike out in bunches, but when he connects, he can do a whole lot of damage, and he makes him pay right here. Randy Choate will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Wilson Ramos will try again after hitting that two-run homer his last time around. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. And this is a guy that will not rattle easily out there, so don't expect him to go into a shell. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. This guy's come right out of the bullpen throwing strikes. That's a key. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. And sometimes it seems if you're left-handed and you got a heartbeat, they'll find a job for you. He's turned this left-handed specialist stuff into a very nice career. Mike Cameron will stand in. Called out on strikes his last time. And this is fouled back and out of play. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And in game one of this series, they've had to go deep in their bullpen already. This could affect them the rest of the weekend. Hit hard on the ground is short. Right there is Reyes. Go on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Last chance coming up here for the Marlins. And this is now a 6 nothing. Time for one last look at our National League scoreboard to see what's happening elsewhere. And now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Jeff Fulcino will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Number 46, Jeff Fulcino. Now playing center field and batting in the ninth. Jose Reyes will stand in needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And you always want to get that first pitch strike in there when you've got to face a dangerous hitter like this.
Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Emilio Bonifacio will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. First pitch to him. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0 and 1. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. And this is hit sharply toward the third base coaching box, a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two-seam movement to it. Two gone. And he's having a rough go of it so far. His second strikeout of the ball game. You can see him gesturing that he thinks that pitch was outside, but you know, I think once he gets a look at it in the clubhouse, he'll probably change his tune. Hanley Ramirez will get another crack, one for three thus far. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. And he will make the catch to wrap this one up. And the Nationals will put an end to their three-game skid as this ball game is over. Yeah, good start to the series for these guys as they take the opener here at home. All in all, a fine performance from the young left-hander Tom Gorzolani. He's our tops player of the game. Matt, that was seven strong innings for him, and it's always good when you can get your starter to take you deep into the ball game, and he's got the bullpen to finish things out for him. will just about do it. For Dave Campbell, Eric Harris, and all the folks back in San Diego, I'm Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here tonight. This has been a presentation of MLB 12 The Show. For more, don't forget to check us out online at theshownation.com. Washington is victorious in this one, 6 to nothing. Highlights of our ball game coming your way next. From Washington,